Hey guys, in this video we're just going to be configuring local resolution of our domain names. Otherwise, you have to use your host file and specify every single one of your domain names. Obviously that gets annoying after a while, so we're going to be setting up K8-Gateway as well as Pi-hole. You do not have to set a Pi-hole if you do not want to. You can just skip to the K8-Gateway part. There will be timestamps on this video so go ahead and use those if you would like and then after we get local resolution working for our domain names we will be setting up our Cloudflare so then we can access our websites remotely after which we will also port forward ports 80 and port 443 to this IP address right here so then again we can access our applications and our domains remotely Okay, so the first application, which again, this one is optional, is going to be Pi-hole. Lots of people don't like setting up Pi-hole, and that's totally fine. I will be setting it up. My web password is going to just be admin, and DNS1 is just going to be my server's IP. And then I'm going to put... I'm going to specify the port by placing a hash after each one of these. And I'm going to type 5353. Port 5353 is going to be the port that we're assigning K8S Gateway. After we're done with that, we can go ahead and click Next through all of these settings because we don't need to change anything else. Okay, so the next application we'll be setting up is K8S Gateway. Just copy and paste the name every single time. Get to the app configuration, configure domains, type in your domain name here. MyFakeSite.net is my domain name. And then for, for DNS2, I'm going to go ahead and steal these from my old configuration, or my configuration that's on my main server, because this is just a VM for, just to show you guys how to do this and stuff. Okay, so what I did here is I'm using Quad, quad 9's TLS servers. You do not have to use TLS if you don't want to. Go ahead and delete this on both of these if you would like. Or you could simply just use Google and use 8888 and then 888 or 8844 or whatever. Do whatever uh, upstream DNS servers you want. If you're not using TLS, you do not need this box. So go ahead and click X on this. Okay. Oh, and you go into networking and services and change this to 5353 because if you remember, that's what Pi-hole is going to be pointed towards. If you are only setting up KHS Gateway and you are not setting up Pi-hole, you skip the Pi-hole part, go ahead and just leave it as 53. I will be using both those, so I'm using 5353. And then we go ahead and skip through all of this because that was the only setting that we needed to change. Go ahead and click Save. Okay, so now the next thing that we want to configure is just going to be our DNS name with our network. So I'm currently in my router settings right now, and I set 192.168.0.185 as my top DNS server. The reason I'm doing that is because I want every single computer on my network to be able to resolve my, my domain uh, locally. I don't want to have to uh, specify a, a static or anything like that. You can do that if you would like to, and I'll show you how to do that. You just click on your little Wi-Fi settings, click Properties, and then for IP settings, you can go ahead and click Edit, change it from Automatic to Manual, and then you can you can choose your preferred DNS here and just place in your server's IP address if you would like to. I'm not going to be doing that. Like I said, I want my entire network to be able to do that. So I did this, and that looks good to me. The very next thing I'm going to be doing is opening up a command prompt after saving that setting to set my DNS uh, server 
for my server for the entire network. I'm going to type IP config forward slash renew. This is just going to ensure that I'm pulling the absolute latest settings from my router. Otherwise, you might be still using the old DNS settings that were previously in there, and then you're, you won't be locally resolving anything. Next, we need to open up Sonar or any other application that you want to expose. Make sure that the service type is on cluster IP. And then go to ingress. I'm just going to go, go ahead and give this a subdomain of Sonar. Fill that in, click add to configure paths, here's your TLS settings, here we go, cert, and that looks good, and of course I will be protecting this with the middleware, and then click on save. Okay, so while Sonar is deploying, I'm going to be opening up the logs for K8S Gateway, just so I can show you guys what it's supposed to look like. When we do locally resolve something. Okay, so sonar is up. I'm going to click on the web portal. And look at that. We are using our domain name. Awesome. So it is locally resolving. And you can see in the KTS Gateway logs that it is locally resolving. Additionally, you can open up a command prompt and type in ns lookup sonar dot site.net and it'll go ahead and show you your dot one eight five which is the last octet of my uh, server's IP okay so next we're gonna be signing into Cloudflare clicking on our website clicking on DNS in the left hand side add record keep it as an a record I'm going to highlight my domain name here paste it under the name I'll zoom in a little bit. And then for the IPv4 address, you need to make sure that this is correct. So I like to come into my command prompt and type in curl ifconfig.io. Just like that. Press enter. That will return you with your WAN IP. Alternatively, you can come into your web browser and then type in what is my IP that should also show you your WAN IP you copy and paste that into this field I'm obviously not going to be exposing my IP in this video so I'm going to be using that as an IP for right now and then we're also going to be adding some C names so let me copy this again so I'll show you what this is supposed to look like Oh, no, this is supposed to be just sonar, and then... So each one of my applications, I'm going to create a C name, and then this will be my subdomain, as you can see here. This is exactly what I'm going to be typing in, and this is exactly what I have in my ingress settings on this application as well. So you can see here, sonar.myfakesite.net, sonar.myfakesite.net, go ahead and save that one. And we're going to go ahead and create a C name for every single one of our applications. So we'll go into SSL slash TLS. Ensure that this is on full. If you do not, you'll get a ton of like redirection errors and just like really weird stuff. So I keep that on full. SSL slash TLS recommender. I keep that ticked. Edge certificates. Always use HTTPS. I also keep that ticked as well. And that should be it for your Cloudflare settings. Okay, now that Cloudflare is set up and it's pointing towards our correct IP address, now all we have to do on our network is go back to our router, minus that up at this IP, and then we need to port forward port 443 and port 80. And I'll show you why. 
close that. We're going to open up traffic. Remember, traffic is our reverse proxy, so everything is going to be routed through traffic, be, except for. So there's some applications that I don't route through traffic. That's Plex uh, and it's a couple of Minecraft servers. I don't route those uh, through through traffic, but I do pretty much everything else. And you can see why we're doing port 80 and port 4 for 3, because everything is going to be routed through traffic. Let's go ahead and open up the web portal. Click on services, and you'll see our services right here. Here's one for Prowler. Here's one for Scale. This is for this is my external service to access Scale remotely. And here's one for Sonar. And one of these gets created every single time we enable ingress on an application. So that's why we're port forwarding 443 because that's Trafix HTTPS port and port 80 Trafix, trafix port port oh my goodness I cannot talk right now port 80 for its HTTP port <laughs> okay and then the forward IP is just going to be 192.168.0.185 that's just your server's IP port so whatever you're accessing your GUI on or whatever your server's addresses you probably know what this is and then the source port and the forward port are the same thing as you can see here source port and forward port are the same thing and that should be it I'm going to go ahead and disable k8s gateway real quick to see if this does work Okay, so K8S gateway is down. That's good. Let's go ahead and enable ingress on Cubitorrent. Okay, so Cubitorrent is back up and running. Let me go ahead and click on the web portal. Looks like it went through. That's good. Nice. So that worked, and we'll go ahead and ping it just to see which IP we're getting. That is obviously not my local IP. That is the proxy's uh, the proxy IP uh, for Cloudflare's proxy. So it looks like a remote resolution is also working now. Awesome.